The New Look Cowboys defense got to Tom Brady early and often with five sacks. The last time that happened was 2001, 14 years ago. But Brady and the Patriots outscored the Cowboys 27-3 over the final three quarters on their way to a 36 win over Dallas. The Patriots improved to 4-0 while the Cowboys lose their third straight game and are 2-3. and three. Skip, what did Brady's second half performance say about him? Molly, Stephen A., big picture, it proved once again that Tom Brady is the best quarterback in all the National Football League. But it said so much more about a guy that I often defend on this show. So I'm going to disqualify myself going in. I'm a Brady supporter. Okay. So you can take or leave what I'm about to say. But somebody needs to step up and defend a guy who's been so disrespected, whose reputation has been so tarnished through the deflate gate ordeal. So many people still believe that he cheated and he lied about it, mm -hmm. that it's come to the point Tom Brady is severely underappreciated. So what happened a couple of weeks back? Your buddy Bart Scott, guy who's been on our show several times in the past. Yes. You know, I don't mind that Bart said, you know, Tom Brady's a nerd or what else did he call him, a dork. You know, that's fine. I can live with that. But he also went to Tom Brady is not a tough guy. And we've had our friend Ryan Clark on saying that in the past when he played for the Steelers, Ryan Clark says that Tom Brady against the Steelers would see ghosts. He'd start to flinch in the pocket under pressure. You have used the analogy countless times on this show that under pressure, after he gets knocked around a little bit, Tom Brady starts to tap dance like the late, great Gregory Hines. God Did I say it? Soul. God rest his soul. Another great performer in his own right. But in this case, yesterday in the first half, Tom Brady took as much punishment as he has ever taken in a half in his career. I would suggest it was about as much punishment as any quarterback has taken in a half this whole entire NFL season to date. He got flat out rocked, mostly by Greg Hardy, some by Rolanda McClain, the two new Cowboys who are finally back from their suspensions. He was under fire. He was pressured 41% of the first half snaps. Do you ever hear Tom Brady complain that his center is an undrafted free agent and his left guard's a rookie? And yesterday in the second half, he lost his left tackle and the backup left tackle, Marcus Cannon, had to play the whole way through the second half for Nate Solder. But do you hear Tom complain? Nope, nope, he doesn't. So what happened in the second half? Did we see him flinch? Was he seeing ghosts? Was he shrinking under pressure? Was he starting to flinch? Did you see him tap dance? No, he went 10 for 11 for 165 yards and two touchdowns and had a QBR in the second half of 96. Really? Oh, that's, that's pretty sweet to me. And it showed everybody out there, all the doubters who think that he's soft and he's this and he's Giselle and he's this and he's that. And he's a pretty boy and he's a golden boy and he's untouchable. Boom! Right in your face, we started to see Psycho Tom. We got some flashes of Psycho yesterday. Mm. And what he was saying is, take that. I'm not going to fire back. I'm not going to trash talk you, Greg Hardy. I'm just going to stick it right in your face by sticking it in the end zone. Boom, boom, boom. Even on the throw to Edelman that turned into the long touchdown pass. Greg Hardy absolutely flattened Tom Brady on that play. So all I'm here to say is I just think I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Tom Brady is a tough guy. I'm going to make that claim today and, you know, shoot holes in it because I don't have any objectivity. That's fine with me. I think he's a tough guy, and I think we saw that in the second half yesterday. Are you finished? Yes. You said we could take it or leave it, meaning your argument. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it somewhere in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. where, 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 leave it in Foxborough. I'm going to leave it in your hometown. Okay. I'm going to leave it in your hometown, okay? Just uh, All right. Mm -hmm. First of you all, got no, first, no first, comebacks. First, well, I'm, I, I have several comebacks, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm about to break it <laughs> down. I'm, I'm about to break it down to you. Number one, let's keep in mind that this was against the Dallas Cowboys against a Dallas Cowboys offense without Tony Romo, without Des Bryant, with Brandon Whedon, who has now lost his 11th consecutive mm -hmm. start as a quarterback, okay? 0-11 in his last 11 starts. Mm -hmm. let's, keep, let's keep that in mind. Just, just a little Wait, point. Wait, was Greg Hardy suspended for the second half? 
No, no. I don't think uh, so. I'm, I'm getting there. I think he got to play. I thought I'd be, I was okay. sitting here, I was so quiet, I, I just I let you go in your I, I just have to quick. clarify for you. Know you. Because, no, no, because you, no, no, no. you sweep because things under the carpet. I'm not, no, that would yeah. be you. No. That would, that be, would be you. you. Mm. Okay? Here's no the comment. deal, Skip Bayless. Mm -hmm. Here's the deal, Skip Bayless. Greg Hardy put some licks on Tom Brady. Mm. That is true. Um, Rolando McClain got a couple mm -hmm. of licks on him. That is true. Crawford got a couple he, he of licks on them. Big licks on that him. was true. Mm -hmm. That was all true. And Tom Brady obviously is tough. The fact Wait, that did you, you, you just said that? Well, if you rewind oh. the tape from weeks ago, oh. I specifically said that. Oh, and not only man. that, I'll leave. Yeah, of course you don't. You have selective okay. amnesia all okay. the time. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely nothing mm. wrong with your brain whatsoever. Mm. You're very lucid. You're very clear. You're highly intellectual. I might check that you're too. highly intellectual. You're mm -hmm. just slick mm -hmm. because you leave out the memory. facts Let's that you want to leave out. To I'm bump I'm checking the tape in my You're doing it on yeah, purpose. Memory, I, you're doing it on purpose. All right, I don't remember because you know the producers ain't going to rehear the stuff that I said weeks ago. Oh, but they rehear your stuff that way. Because we all know the world's according to Skip Bayless. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. This is the thing that I find funny. I have repeatedly stated on many occasions mm -hmm. when they lost the Super Bowl in 07 to the Giants, both Justin Tuck and Michael Strahan talked about how they kept dropping Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. They applied pressure all afternoon long, and they said that dude was cussing out his offensive lineman all day long, mm -hmm. but he kept getting up. He kept getting up. And the respect that they had for him elevated exponentially and how everyone in the league recognizes what, how tough Tom Brady is. Mm -hmm. So when guys get on him, you're, whether it's a, a Bart Scott or who else did you mention? I'm sorry. I, I Ryan mean, Clark. Mm -hmm. Ryan Clark. Well, the Steelers do have a history of losing to Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. Well, Bart Scott did have a history of losing to Tom Brady because he lost mm -hmm. him in eight of 11 meetings against mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. And because sometimes, whether it's trickery, whether it's leaning on Bill Belichick, whether it's the quick two-step drop, dip and dunks, all of this other stuff, they sort of are the monster. That's mindset. legal. Tell me, it's legal, mm -hmm. but football guys, just like Joey Porter years ago calling out Peyton Manning and mm -hmm. talking about all his trickery before yeah. the Steelers went into Indianapolis in a playoff game and beat Peyton Manning's score. I'm saying to you, you've got guys like Big Ben and others who are considered rough riders. You look at Tom Brady. I mean, listen, I keep trying to tell you, I had women calling me talking about, man, did you see Tom Brady? I'm like, what happened? What happened? Did you see him in that blue suit walking into that courtroom? This is what they're saying. This is what they're saying. So when you look at Tom Brady, it's his style. It's his grace. It's, it's, it's his lovely, beautiful wife. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking about her respectfully, not the way Greg Thank Hardy you. spoke about yes. her. It's all of those things yes. that come. The mm -hmm. allure that okay. is Tom Brady. Yeah. It doesn't speak gridiron to those guys he beats. Now, to most of us, we don't care what's the result. What you do. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you can't take anything away from Tom Brady. All I'm asking you to do is this, Skip Bayless. Pump the brakes just a touch. Mm -hmm. It was against the Dallas Cowboys. Now, Greg Hardy did get some licks on them. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about that. And, and Crawford and those boys and Rolanda McClay, they got some licks on them. And he was taking some hits in the first half. Mm -hmm. More so than in the second half because Josh McDaniel made some adjustments. And he wasn't getting hit as much as he was in the first half. In the first half, he was getting beat up. But he kept getting up, okay? Gives him a lot of credit for it. But last time I checked, he's a quarterback. That's what they pay you to do. Well, and so he, some don't he's, get he's up. A, well, some uh, flinch. Uh, sorry, sorry, no, no, some no, get no, happy no, no. feet. They usually, they usually get up. They just flinch. Mm -hmm. But they usually, they, most of them usually get hell. Even Jay Cutler's gotten up, mm -hmm. but they flinch. Boy, he got up okay. yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah, you know a dead clock is right <laughs> twice a day, he's baby. Been twice, so, two but, weeks I, in a row. I, I never We're gonna get into that. Oh, I never too. predicted sorry. that the Chicago sorry. Bears or anybody else was gonna go 0 and 16. Oh, okay. So we understand it. All I'm saying is Tom Brady is great, but. Let's not use this as an excuse. It was the Dallas Cowboys we're okay, talking about. Okay, but wait a second. It. Was he playing, was the Cowboy offense playing defense against Tom no, Brady? No, no, no. The Cowboy defense was right. playing against Tom Brady. But I'm saying you've got the luxury knowing that your defense ain't giving up anything to the opposing offense. You're almost playing with house money. So granted, he took some licks. There's no question about that. And you've got to be tough to take. I think you've got to be tough to play the quarterback position in the NFL. And I think most, if not all of them, have a level of toughness to them. Otherwise, they wouldn't be. And this is the NFL we talk about here. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, I, uh, when we question them, we're questioning them against their own contemporaries. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to literally question their toughness. Tom Brady's tough. Tom Brady is elite. All I'm saying is, is that even though he took some licks yesterday, it was in the first half. Let You know what? 
if this, I'll put it to you this way. If Romo and Des Bryant were playing yesterday, I would have liked to have seen how Tom Brady performed then. Here's why. Because they would have put, some, put up some more points. They would it have. would have been more interesting, more compelling. Yep. And that would have elevated the level of adrenaline coming from a defense who was basically defeated by the end of the first half going into the second half because they knew the damn offense couldn't score anything. Mm-hmm. So your level of resolve, the adrenaline, how hyped you are about playing the game rapidly dissipated because you knew this was a game that you were not going to win mm-hmm. because you were ill-equipped to do anything about it. Let's not ignore that. That is a good point. I'm going to give you that one but in the end remember Brady loses his left tackle for the whole second half right so you got a huge edge with with Greg Hardy well, they were doubling up on Hardy but pride in what they were doing in the first half yeah they had keyed on him they kept bar- they kept Hardy off of him for most of the second half whereas others might have taken some shots at yeah all I can say is after you take that much punishment and you keep standing in there firing and make 10 out of 11 work mm-hmm. for you that's pretty tough to me. Gotcha. Tom Brady's 11 pass TD, zero interceptions for the first four games. That's only the third time that's happened in NFL history. Pretty impressive. Another Broncos win despite another unpatent like performance. The, the new look Cowboys defense got to Tom Brady early and often with five sacks. The last time that happened was 2001, 14 years ago. But Brady and the Patriots outscored the Cowboys 27 to three over the final three quarters on their way to a 36 win over Dallas. The Patriots improved to 4-0 while the Cowboys lose their third straight game and are two and three. Skip, what did Brady's second half performance say about him? Molly, Stephen A, big picture, it proved once again that Tom Brady is the best quarterback in all the National Football League. But it said so much more about a guy that I often defend on this show. So I'm going to disqualify myself going in. I'm a Brady supporter. So you can take or leave what I'm about to say. But somebody needs to step up and defend a guy who's been so disrespected, whose reputation has been so tarnished through the deflate gate ordeal. So many people still believe that he cheated and he lied about it, mm-hmm. that it's come to the point Tom Brady is severely underappreciated. So what happened a couple of weeks back, your buddy Bart Scott, guy who's been on our show several times in the past. Yes. You know, I don't mind that Bart said, you know, Tom Brady's a nerd or what else did he call him, a dork. You know, that's fine. I can live with that. But he also went to Tom Brady is not a tough guy. And we've had our friend Ryan Clark on saying that in the past when he played for the Steelers, Ryan Clark says that Tom Brady against the Steelers would see ghosts. He'd start to flinch in the pocket under pressure. You have used the analogy countless times on this show that under pressure, after he gets knocked around a little bit, Tom Brady starts to tap dance like the late, great Gregory Hines. God Did I say it? Soul. God rest his soul. Another great performer in his own right. Mm. But in this case, yesterday in the first half, Tom Brady took as much punishment as he has ever taken in a half in his career. I would suggest it was about as much punishment as any quarterback has taken in a half this whole entire NFL season to date. He got flat out rocked, mostly by Greg Hardy, some by Rolando McClain, the two new Cowboys who are finally back from their suspensions. He was under fire. He was pressured 41% of the first half snaps. Do you ever hear Tom Brady complain that his center is an undrafted free agent and his left guard's a rookie? And yesterday in the second half, he lost his left tackle and the backup left tackle, Marcus Cannon, had to play the whole way through the second half for Nate Solder. But do you hear Tom complain? Nope, Nope. he doesn't. So what happened in the second half? Did we see him flinch? Was he seeing ghosts? Was he shrinking under pressure? Was he starting to flinch? Did you see him tap dance? No, he went 10 for 11 for 165 yards and two touchdowns and had a QBR in the second half of 96. Really? Oh, that's, that's pretty sweet to me. And it showed everybody out there, all the doubters who think that he's soft and he's this and he's Giselle and he's this and he's that. And he's a pretty boy and he's a golden boy and he's untouchable. Boom! Right in your face, we started to see Psycho Tom. We got some flashes of Psycho yesterday. Mm. And what he was saying is, take that. I'm not going to fire back. I'm not going to trash talk you, Greg Hardy. I'm just going to stick it right in your face by sticking it in the end zone. Boom, boom, boom. Even on the throw to Edelman that turned into the long touchdown pass. 
Greg Hardy absolutely flattened Tom Brady on that play. So all I'm here to say is, I just think I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Tom Brady is a tough guy. I'm going to make that claim today and, you know, shoot holes in it because I don't have any objectivity. That's fine with me. I think he's a tough guy, and I think we saw that in the second half yesterday. Are you finished? Yes. <clears throat> you said we could take it or leave it, meaning your argument. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it somewhere in Oklahoma mm -hmm. where, where, 